Hey guys, what's up? My name's Kieran Galasper and welcome to day 8 of Veg. Now today's question is an incredibly difficult one. Today's question is, what is your favourite video game soundtrack? Now for this question I have an absolute ton of answers and even if I whittled it down a little bit, this video would still go on for an incredibly long time. So what I'm going to do is, for this video, I'm going to talk about three tracks in particular that I absolutely love, and I've also made a playlist that I'll link to you at the end. Anyways, the first track I want to talk about is Metallic Monks from Fallout by Mark Morgan. First of all, I'm going to start off saying this. Mark Morgan is one of my favourite video game composers of all time. He composed for music for the first two Fallout games, he composed for music for Planescape Torment, and most recently he did the soundtrack for Wasteland 2. And to put it completely bluntly, this guy is pretty much an ambient music god. But for me, the track Metallic Monks from Fallout stands out the most because it is hauntingly beautiful and is so fitting. If you're a fan of Fallout, then you know that this is the theme for the Brotherhood of Steel. But if you're not sure who they are, I'll give you a quick little recap. They are a militaristic force that, quite simply, you do not mess with. And the main foot soldiers for the Brotherhood of Steel were gigantic suits of power armor, hence the term Metallic Monk. And the Brotherhood of Steel only really have one objective, the preservation of technology. They have very little care for the outside world of the Wasteland. The only time they'll help anyone in the Wasteland is if there is anything that is actively threatening them, or if they're going to be promised a lot of new technology. The only exception to this rule really is for Lion's Pride from Fallout 3. But for an example of their morality, imagine a man is being attacked by a pack of super mutants, whilst a piece of technology is also being attacked by super mutants. They would save the technology and go for the man second. They are powerful outcasts with an absolute grey morality, and this theme suits them to an absolute T. The second track I want to talk about is Uncharted Worlds from Mass Effect. Uncharted Worlds was composed by Sam Hulick and Jack Wall, two incredibly talented composers. Uncharted Worlds is actually the theme for the galaxy map in Mass Effect, which is your main mode of transport between worlds. When you're using the galaxy map, you'll be doing all kinds of things, such as charting for courses or maybe mining for minerals. You'll be doing everything the Normandy can do whilst charting the stars. And while, yeah, this is a very routine thing for somebody in Mass Effect, for us it's something kind of special. The music for the galaxy map is this perfect kind of hub. It sounds routine, but at the same time has a beautiful sense of wonder about it. For Commander Shepard, he's going to his new route somewhere in the galaxy to try and stop the fight against the Reapers, but for us, we're exploring brand new star systems and absolutely beautiful nebulas. Uncharted Worlds captures that to an absolute T, and that is why I adore that track. And the last track I want to talk about today is After the Crash from Deus Ex Human Revolution. Putting it bluntly, this track is incredibly dramatic. Trying to avoid spoilers for Human Revolution as best as I can, but this track comes at a huge point in the game. At this point in the game, Jensen has uncovered so much, and yet he's just uncovered so much more. And every single one of his secrets he's learned, everything that has changed his world perspective, has sent him back to the city of Hengsha. And as if having his world perspective just thrown out of the window and repeatedly punched in the face wasn't enough, his ship has just been shot down. And then it gets even worse. His friend, Farida Malik, is still inside the ship. Everything has just gone to hell, and it seems to be going a few circles deeper. And it's up to you as Adam Jensen to stop these guys firing at the ship so they don't kill Malik. And it's all shown perfectly through this track. It starts off quite somber, confused about everything that's just happened, putting two and two together to realise that everything is definitely not as it seems. And then, bam, the action hits, and it's all intense, and it's just so driving. Michael McCann's soundtrack for Deus Ex Human Revolution is quite easily one of my favourite soundtracks ever made, and this track is a perfect testament as to why. But anyway, those are three of my favourite tracks from video games, and like I said, I have made a playlist for you to listen to more of my favourite soundtracks. I'm going to be adding more and more to it as I go along, but if you want to just click the annotation and have a listen, then go right ahead. I also want to know what you think is a fantastic game soundtrack, so why don't you let me know down in the comments below. And I will see you all tomorrow for hopefully another fun instalment of Veg. See you then.